Now then guys, MJ Automotive here and we're working on a Vauxhall Zafira 2013 Zafira B uh, doing a pair of rear axle bushes today. Uh, this vehicle has been for MOT, failed its MOT, so we just uh, stripped out part, some of the components, got it to the point where the axle bushes are now accessible. Uh, we've used our little air chisel to try and tap them out, see if that did anything, but it's not done anything there. So now we're going to send a drill down side of it and then uh, see what happens there. Right guys, so as you can see, the, we've stripped out to the point where the axle's now dropped. Uh, this is the offside bush. Um, we've already been battling with the near side one and there you go, it's out, it's fucked, it looks a right mess, so yeah, that one's out, uh, so we can wait till tomorrow to do the next one, uh, and then get, the, get them both pressed in at the same time, so we'll probably, we might do a bit of a time lapse on this one when we're moving it, it is a bit absolute ball it because it's a metal case one, but yeah, we might do a time lapse on this one to the removal, hammering, chiseling, drilling, all that lot, so yeah, uh, catch you guys in the next one. Alright guys, so now, now the bush is out on one side, we're going to have a go pressing it back in, see what happens. Uh. Alright, that's what we're going to need, we're going to need to go get another spanner that's a 27, so we can do it that way. Right. I'll cut back in when we're back. Right, we're back and got a 27mm spanner. So, there we go. So we're just using what's a power hand press pull sleeve kit. Uh, this one's quite a heavy duty one. Uh, so we're basically going at it, seeing what happens, seeing how well it pushes the bush in. Uh, Fortunately, because of the size of them, they're are quite a bit, yeah, a bit of a pain to do. So, yeah, sounds like it's actually doing something. Looks like it's doing something as well, so that's always promising. It's not the quickest of jobs doing it like this. Uh, with this set being a bit of a more heavy duty set, the nuts are 27mm so they are quite large, so I don't, and I don't have a 27mm ratchet spanner. So yeah, we're uh, going at it with uh, regular old spanners, as you can see. But sometimes old is gold, as they say, go a bit Old school, use standard spanners, use it to put, and uh, yeah, it does exactly what it needs to. Uh, we're getting there slowly with her. As you can see, the axle is shifting quite a bit. It's currently sat on axle stands, of all things. Surprise, surprise. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just we'll get this one pressed in because then at least we've got a reference off the other side, you can see exactly where the uh, old one sat. Right, I'm gonna cut this back up, take this back off, see what's happening uh, with the bearing, uh, cut back in when I'm back doing it, uh, back, pulling it back in again. Right guys, we're back in. As you can see, it has been a bit of a pig. It is squashing this bush because it's got a metal end to it. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's not, not the easiest of tasks to do. 
yeah, you can see it is stuck. It is definitely going in. But let me squash it that way quite profusely, unfortunately, but needs most in this situation. Only a couple of oh, a few more to go. Yep, nearly there. Very nearly there. Disappeared, so you can't see what's going on. Not ideal, but yep. there we go. That's some light here. Right. Right, I'm going to have to loosen this off again and see what's happening. So again, I'll cut back in once we're there. Alright guys, so as you can, well, as you can see, there looks like there's a bit of a gap, but if you go off, oh this bit, this is the exact diameter it needs to be, so, looks like we're there, beautiful, can't be, can't be much happier than that, so, now we'll slip the nut and bolt in, uh, won't bolt it up yet, uh, worked, well we'll bolt the nut and bolt in, bolt the, uh, bring it right down so then it's at the point where it needs to be and then once it's back on the vehicle weight's bearing back on it then we can nip it up so it's in the exact right position so we'll cut back in when we start doing the other side 